Hello, welcome one and all to Arcadia Chronicles. We're on chapter two, Escape from Brawl. And uh, last time, the Imperial Army of the Empire had begun its invasion of Gallia. And the border town of Brawl was pretty much overrun. Yeah, the town patrols can't take on tanks. Don't have the firepower. So, we shall kick off where we left off, which is Vulcan running to his home, trying to save his little sister. Isara, Martha, please be okay. That shawl. She's a darkson. Then that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it! Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! <laughs> so much for the little girl. Dark son, pig! And that's racist. Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! No, this isn't good. She's gone into labor. <clears throat> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we going to do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks. Listen, the barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. You never saw anything there, then. A little spoiler, because that thing you see there is a tank. And it's not just any tank. Oh no. This is an awesome tank. Dad's tank! Whoa! I can't believe it's still here! And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great! But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... What's next? Alright. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Here you go, Will. One lesson is all you need. One lesson. Well, you know, game logic. And Isara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine! 
The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! Episode has been added, and this this is fantastic. I love I love that tank. I do, I really do. I mean, granted, you know, it doesn't have this game doesn't have you know the ballistics things that World well, Tanks does, but you know, it's an RPG. And what do you expect? Anywho, we have a battle. Here's the brief for this operation. Okay, Alicia, tell us what we gotta do. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuated team townspeople will be in danger. Because, you know, the Imperials are evil and they will shoot the civilians. You know, like evil people do. To prove that they are evil. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with you. Now, actually, uh, before we go any further, little mention. They did mention Isara is a uh, Darskin. And we're getting a bit more depth into why that's not necessarily a good thing um, for his own. Uh, but we'll get to that later. First things first, let's do this. Anyway, they'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Yes, it will be. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Yeah, you don't know Welkin's coming though, do you? So this is... <laughs> How are you going to do that? Without, help, without, without the help of your tank, it's actually impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town what now Alicia doesn't know we're coming though. She wouldn't expect Welkin to be coming with a tank. Oh well, game logic. It solves everything, you know. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything that we can to keep that gate in one piece. I suppose Welkin does have a radio though, but Alicia doesn't and I'm just trying to explain things too much. The Town Watch will need to hold up the enemy forces until you arrive at the tank. We'll need to use sandbags around the starting point gate for cover, hold back the Empire's attack. Hey, 20 turns past. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. You said it. We have to stop them. They come forward, we fall back. No if more. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Nope, oh, more tutorial. About sandbags and hand grenades. By moving behind a sandbag, let's select and crouch a unit's defenses to maximize and extra damage from headshots if negated. When focusing on defensive or ending one turn, it's always best to hide in this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why hand grenades are used, this explosive power can destroy sandbags. That's the X button, the level toggle button, to cycle among the options of the tanker. I've already done this in the previous, um, battle, I think. Grenades are limited in numbers, so use them wisely. Each play phase, units can cover one hand grenade. So... First things first... Moving okay. out! I'm going to have you... Enemy unit spotted! Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get i I'm gonna get used to this Xbox controller. Did you get both? No, you did not. That's unfortunate. There we go. Come on. No. 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 Oh yeah, you've already done an action. Uh, there we go. I've got to get used to this Xbox controller. I am not used to it. I am pretty much a... well, I was a... Mm, you haven't got anything, so... Crouch... Changing weapon for some reason. 
Gonna take 22 shots to kill him. I'm trying to get the sound. If the sound base seems a bit quiet because I'm lowered it because it, it's really loud. Um, but for some reason it is actually quite. The shooting is now very quiet, so. Hello, Captain. It's gonna take seven shots to kill you. You didn't hit a single one. Well done. Congratulations, you failed it. Right. My turn, okay? Okay, Alicia. You are gonna go over. Oh, you haven't got any grenades. Shit. I didn't look at that there. That's my fault. Okay. Gotta remember and get used to the game mechanics again. Get used to the. All of this stuff. Yeah. There we go, Alicia. Show, the, show everyone else what you do. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end the game phase. I really wanna get rid of those three sandbags on the other side. That's what I wanna do. They're gonna use them. Oh, here comes the tank. health points left. There we go. Oh, you missed. Oh, very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Ah, another dude. Yeah, and he's using that as cover. There's one over here. But he dies. There we go. That's why you get rid of the sandbags. We could use that middle one, especially, uh, to get close to the, to the gate. This guy too. Oh! He's gonna be a bastard to get out now. Please hit. He's got a lot of health. Now, if we can kill the captain, that would be quite advantageous. Is he gonna go? Oh, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Oh, he's throwing a grenade. One! One shot! One shot and we would have killed him. This is not a good situation, really. About Ragnar. Small amount of damage is healed as though. Sometimes the unit has suffered a heavy damage. Needs some of our health to throw right faster than the Ragnar. Yet another product of Ragnar or... Ragnate combines healing and antibiotic properties into a signal medical pack. This this ore is fucking amazing, by the way. It's fuel and it heals. It's fantastic. The select it with the X button, then press the RB button and select the target. Place the crosshairs on the nearby ally to heal them, or place them on no one to use this handy item to heal yourself. And I think everyone gets Ragnar. Oh, almost everyone. Right. First things first. Thank you, Norton, for taking me out of the screen. Thank you. I really wanted that. Well then, there we go. Right, he's dead. He's no longer a problem. I don't think that's a good idea, though. I don't think you can cover him on the... Uh... Moving out! There we go. Got him. Hmm. Oh, Alicia, you're facing the wrong way, lady. Yeah, 
I'll take 38. Oh, and now he's going to shoot back. And this guy is not going to do anything about it. I'm not sure at least you can hit him. My turn, okay? We're gonna try. No. Now! Now hide, Alicia. Oh, that's not hiding. That's what? That's opposite of hiding. Game. Thank you. Would not crouch. I accidentally catch the button once and then all of a sudden, this is why I hate these parts. Because I think at least he's going to die now. Oh dear. Main gate is in deep. No! Yeah, oh, I skipped that for Sorry. Sorry, I skipped that, but yeah, the gate's, the gate's closing. Thankfully, that does not do a lot of damage. Oh, don't shoot it. Yeah. No. And that's game over. Uh, all because I couldn't crouch. <laughs> we tried the battle. Let's do that better, shall we? I can do this better. I can do this a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this yeah, yeah. If the town watch and FZ. Right! Moving out! Alicia! Enemy unit spotted! Let's get rid of this one. Now! Put it there, we'll get rid of both. Yes, it will! There we go. We have success. We have victory. We have improvement. More importantly, I'm not going to do the stupid thing and have it to die. That is stupid. And silly. And I'm much better than this. I may not be brilliant, but I know I'm better than that. Okay, you are going to crouch as well. Good for you. Good sir. Good sir. Shoot him in the head, would you please? There we go. Get him down to hopefully killing range. Do I want? Yeah, actually, you know what? You're gonna shoot again. There we go. Another couple of hits. It means that there's gonna be more fire coming in his way. Right. Enemy fail. First, the tank moves. The tank moves. We all get the tank effectually. Look at that one. No. Yeah, that's the light tank self. 14,000. 14,000. No, no. 1,400. Breathe properly. Up to 1,399. Uh, and its treads have got 400 HP. So you can take out the treads and stop them moving. Uh, here comes Scout. Oh, you take two shots. Mr. Town Watchman's actually learned how to duck this time. Amazingly. Did you learn how to kill him? Nope. And this should be... Yep. Mr. Scout. Take more shots. Gonna take more. There we go. See? Improvement already. And there'll be an even bigger improvement if Mr. Shot Jupiter gets killed here. Come on. Nope. Ow. It's okay, Alicia. Now! Nope. Now, here comes the captain. We're gonna kill him. Already took two hits. And in comes the fire. Oh, oh no, we got him. See? Improvement. We've already got an improvement. We did not get to the uh, gate and... 
So. First things first. My turn, okay? Mr. Shock Trooper dies now. Right now. Now! There we go. Hmm. Yeah, you celebrate, Alicia. And we go there. Here you go. We're just gonna kill this dude. There we go. Well done, Mr. Town Watchman. You've actually improved on the last time. Um, I think that's gonna have to be that. We're gonna leave those two for the next turn. See what the enemy does. Yes, I'm just gonna shoot at the gate. Boom. I'm not gonna skip no! This thing. If this keeps up! Well, it is a tank, Alicia. You kinda haven't got anything to take it on with. Does the enemy have anything else? The enemy does have another shock trooper! Oh! Oh, shock trooper! Are you going to. Yes, you are! You're gonna take Alicia! That's not good! Now! Mr. Shock Trooper, you're gonna have to die. Understood? Oh, you got to safety, you bastard. Uh oh. Aisha's in trouble here. Now! Oh, and there's another shock tripper? Nope, scout. Well, he's gonna die. At least he's a shot. There we go. So, two turns down. Play a phase. Welcome, Hazel Wright! Are you ready to see the Able Vice in action, my friends? I hope you are. Hope you guys are looking forward to this. Here we go! Able Vice, you beauty. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Yeah, Alicia seems to be uh, quite a mechanic as well. Tank possessed fire powers and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. Well, duh. They are able to deflect nearby all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Oh boy, are they. <laughs> Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume two CP when selecting tank command mode, because if they used one, they'd be overpowered beyond belief. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to, to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn, so you take care to plan ahead which direction you like to face at the turn's end. Yep. Hostile sighted! Hostile sighted! Oh, it's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Yeah, you, you scream in fear, Imperial soldier. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? Yeah, I'd be shocked as well, to be honest. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Yeah, he's our, uh, actually, you know, folks Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. Alright, let's go take it down. Uh Okay, so at the moment we can't actually kill that tank because we can't shoot at it. But we can shoot at this attack. The Valtahans have three major means of attack. Anti-armor spills, explosive motor rounds, mounted machine gun. Anti-armor shells are effective against enemies covered in armor, such as tanks. Explosive motors will hit a broad area with a ragnite black eye black blast, ideal to a ground unit. Motors travel along an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes for major results, but be aware that ammunition is limited. Machine gun is best suited for striking enemies too close for the mortar, but is used to in intercept incoming enemies. Press the X button to switch weapons and meet the needs of each situation. Like this one. You, my friend. Hutch! Badoom! 
You my friend are not more. Our tanks HP. Tanks have two separate HP tops, body HP and tread HP. Attacks to the tank's body and main cannon will reduce body HP, while blows to the treads reduce treads HP. If body HP reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. If tread HP reaches zero, the AP is drastically cut off, so you don't actually disable it, it just makes it move slow. It is easier to deal damage to the treads than the body, even with grenades. Halting the tank before taking out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. Uh, the going blue radar plate at the tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to explode your own expo expo expose even your own rear to this hostile fire. Okay. Well, welcome. Well, there's a there's a commander there. Okay, anyone shooting? No. Okay, well. Here we go! First things first. To quote the mighty jingles, oh hello! And yeah. Come on. Now. Don't mess this up. Fire! Oh, he's not dead. Here we go! Yeah, we can do this. Time to get up close and personal. Fire! The word is kaboom. And victory! Operation complete. Yes! We stopped it! Nice work, Ys! Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin! The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time, at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! Well, he said I can help her. She gave birth in Dad's tank? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a shock face as well. That'd be my reaction. Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. I highly doubt that would happen, though. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Are we going A? Are we going A? Nice doesn't make up for the fact that I just botched it first attempt, but... <sighs> A new episode has been added. It's this one, it's the last one of the chapter, so let's watch it, shall we? Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. 
That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3 Vassal Urban Warfare Anyway, episode ends up hard to get a I keep, you know, pronouncing things wrong at the moment. Vassal Urban Warfare is uh, Chapter 3, and it will be another video. So, anyway, thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you later. Ciao.